Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to do this video of this pink and blue ombre. I just thought it was an absolutely adorable design. It was the first video I had ever recorded. Um, so my angles are all kind of just weird. I was getting used to where the camera was and sometimes I go out of shot and so it's kind of just not the greatest but the design was so cute that I just had to do it. So um, here at the beginning we are, I've already prepped and primed her nails. Um, she is a chronic lifter so she usually comes in without with at least two or three missing um, no matter what I do with the prep and no matter how good I am with the application she always misses a couple by the time she comes back. So I think this time she was missing five. So we've already re-prepped and primed the missing ones, added tips and everything just to keep them all the same length. Um, and then she picked these two, this pink and blue. They were kind of from the same color family from Glam and Glitz. I'll put the names in the description box because I'm not home right now and I have no idea what they were. I think the red pink one is Tulip, but I honestly have no idea what the blue one is. So, <laughs> But I know they're Glam and Glitz and they're adorable and I think they look so great together. So she wanted to do a pink and blue ombre. Um, so this is what we're doing, just putting a little bit of the bottom color at the tip and then doing the other color at the free or at the cuticle and blending down give it a nice blend I love the pink and blue together because at the blend point it makes purple and I just think it looks so pretty um and this so she wanted to do the reverse on the ring finger just so she has a little bit of an accent and then at the end we did some nail art on it as well so so yeah, like I said, I go out of shot a lot. This was the first video I'd ever actually recorded with my camera set up on my light. So I was still getting used to where the the camera was. So apologies for that. Um, but again, the design was just too cute. I could not just leave this one out. I was watching the what I had recorded and I was super disappointed with all of my angles and how often and I went out of out of shot. But it was just too cute. So I had to I had to do it. So, blending nice and smooth just to get a nice blend, and you can't even see anything that I'm doing right now, so sorry about that. <laughs> but I'll come back and shot again in a minute, I think. I love Glam and Glitz colors. You do have to work with them a little bit extra wet just to, because they're really highly pigmented, but they are a great color line, and they're really accessible in the U.S., so definitely want to try CJP colors, but uh, it's a little more difficult to get those here. So, <laughs> anyway. And that orange is from a previous set that we just filed down super thin and these colors are pigmented enough that they'll cover it. So you won't, you won't see it. Sorry if you can hear that in the background. My uh, husband is fighting with my children. We're on vacation at the moment, so they're being mischievous and Oh, and I'm doing voiceovers. <laughs> so get more of that lovely blend. After we get all of these five blended, I'll start back at the pinky and cap them all in CJP crystal glass. I am using my CJP Liz Guild brush, which is phenomenal. It's such a great brush. It's the best one I've ever used. I went through so many different brushes to find one that was just super functional and exactly what I needed and the Liz Guild brush just is perfect. I love it. Getting that tucked in around the cuticle, just super tapered so we don't have any ridges, we don't have any lifting, we don't have anything touching the skin. Tilting the finger down so that gravity works for you, kind of brings the bead down, but also keeping your apex in that back third of the nail. Just adding little bits here and there where I feel like I need it. Make sure it's all nice and smooth. So five nails are the same. I just can't get over that blend. And I love the sparkles in the in the pink and blue. They're just absolutely amazing. 
My computer just tried to go to sleep on me right there. That was fun. Crystal glass is absolutely phenomenal. I just love how clear it is and it just brightens up those glitters, sparkle, colored acrylics so well. Just make sure that the whole nail goes matte when you put the clear on just so that you make sure you've capped all of it so you're not filing into your color. And I did put these colors on um, super thin so that I could cap them because I don't want to file off my blend. I uh, did, they are strength powders, uh, Glam and Glitz are strength powders, but I like to just do them super thin so that we can, I can cap them. And the hand is done, and we will go ahead. I, are, I guess I left the filing out, so this is just, I filed them, and then I put a quick layer of uh, gelish foundation down so that I had a, uh inhibition layer to paint the daisies onto. So I'm just doing some really random lines right at the corners just so that they kind of look like daisies. I'm bringing them up. To meet lots of super thin lines look like daisy petals and again this is a super short video most of the like the filing was all out of shot and you know most of it was really out of shot so I just kind of left most of it out but the design was just too cute so. put some more layers just to give it a little bit of depth of where the petals are. Nothing super intense, just an easy, quick little little design. I'm using my uh, swirly brush from Light Elegance from the Selena Ryden Signature Brush Collection. And just the white gel paint from Light Elegance. Then this is the same brush and the pastel yellow gel paint from Light Elegance, just to give it a little bit of a yellow center. And then I'll use the black gel paint for some just little, little dots right in the center of that flower, just to give it a little bit more dimension and a little bit of an extra thing, extra addition to it. And just a generic dotting tool For that. Just put some little dots in the center of those flowers. Just teeny tiny ones. And we're using Light Elegance Super Shiny for the top coat because it is by far my favorite. Anytime I'm using any white, I always use Super Shiny because Super Shiny will not stain or yellow in the you um, in the sun. It just it keeps your colors super bright and all of your whites stay white. They don't ever they don't ever fade. And then there's the finished design. I hope you enjoyed watching and subscribe and like and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.